Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about uh, Stephen Colbert's natal chart. Um, many of you may know, some of you may not. Uh, Stephen Colbert is the host of the Colbert's Report, and it's a satirical news show on Comedy Central. And his characters that he uh, portrays on the show are those of distorted or exaggerated versions of right-wing or conservative uh, political analysts. Um, all in all, he's worked as a TV host, actor, um, comedian, author. How's that for Gemini Moon versatility? He was born on May 13, 1964, in Washington, D.C., I don't have a time of birth for him, so I did a solar chart, and it's based on Western astrology using the Placidus house system. So let me get started. The first thing is that his son is in Taurus, of course, and this placement uh, makes Ken May Colbert very steady, consistent, stable, and reliable. Uh, apt to be persistent and persevering. Uh, can be acquisitive and enamored with making money. Generally, uh, a calm demeanor. Uh, not easily angered, but apt to be infuriated uh, when really um, pushed to his limits. Now he has the moon in Gemini. Now saying Colbert has a voluble tongue would be a major understatement. Uh, never seems to be at a loss for words, is very loquacious, uh, seems to have a multitude of uh, personalities that he projects on his show. The majority of his planets are in feminine signs, 9 of 10. Now this would be, um, would be a tendency towards introversion, uh, over-extroversion, uh, pessimism, over-optimism, likely to be more subjective than objective, inclined to express his energies more privately as opposed to publicly. Now, uh, most of his planets in the solar chart are below the horizon, uh, which essentially reinforces what I just said, uh, more um, about seclusion, solitude, um, doing things privately as opposed to publicly. The uh, majority of his planets in the solar chart are on the left side of his chart. This would incline towards self-reliance and independence, uh, more about creating his own um, destiny and opportunities as opposed to uh, basing actions that are, that are predicated on actions um, of others, I guess you could say, um, or letting others dictate um, his actions. Now, uh, he has preponderance of planets and earth signs, which emphasizes pragmatism and practicality, uh, apt to be very economical and frugal, uh, careful um, how he spends money, um, appreciates tangible assets, uh, very prudent, cautious, and premeditative. Now he has the majority of planets in fixed signs. Now this would emphasize um, persistence, determination, can be very resolute and intractable, uh, apt to have others, um, would be more inclined to make the compromises um, in relationships as opposed to himself. Uh, this could be um, now what this comes to in his final, I guess you could say his final signature in his chart or the, the final signature or chart signature is in Taurus. And this would put strong emphasis on Taurus characteristics. Now this would indicate much tenacity but perhaps obstinacy as well. Uh, stalinist, stability, um, seeing things to the end, uh, much dependability, stick to -itiveness. Now his chart ruler is located in the second house in his solar chart, and this would put much emphasis on monetary uh, financial matters, which works hand in hand with his Taurus energy, um, possess uh, possessions, uh, personality would come out strongly in these things. He can strongly emphasize values, and the funny thing is that even though he doesn't, in my mind, he doesn't really express a lot of Taurus characteristics, I think uh, 
probably has a, he's almost 100% has to have a different rise, much different rising sign, I would believe. But the fact that he portrays these conservative um, pundits or, or these political analysts, even though it's done in a comical, satirical manner, I guess we could kind of see that, that earth part coming out, that conservative side coming out in Colbert, in his, um, I guess you could say, in his sketches on the Colbert show, uh, because they are conservative, and earth sign people are generally are considered uh, conservative people, so maybe that's in one way this is projected through his characters that he portrays on the show. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the Stephen Colbert natal chart, part one, and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Stephen Colbert's natal chart, part two. Uh, two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.